So is he fourth annual Grammy Awards? What about him? Did you see him? I did not. Oh. This guy did, though. <laughs> I saw, like, a couple highlights. I saw Baby Keem won Best Rap best Performance. Best Rap Album. Oh, Performance? No, yeah, I thought it was Album. No, uh, Tyler, 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 Tyler won oh, again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He won Record. Yeah, yeah. Why are you in, bro? Like, Dude, I that's crazy. That's a gangster grizzle. You know, grills or whatever. Mixtape. Oh, it's a mixtape? Well, it's, you know, you know who DJ Drama is, right? Yeah. DJ Drama. Yeah, and then his iconic gangster gr- grills yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Dude, DJ yeah, Drama is underrated. Nah. You think so? Bro, he found, bro, he's found some huge artists. Like I, don't, I don't know if he found them. Lil Uzi Vert. Like he ended up screwing over. Right. No, yeah. he's still around. No, he ended up screwing Lil Uzi over. Oh, did he really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. His contract? Yeah. Oh, for real? I, yeah, I mean, the internal intake took forever just to come out just because of him. Yeah. They didn't Young Jeezy. That's a good one. T.I. Jack Harlow. T.I., really? Yeah. Jack, Jack, Jack Harlow. Harlow uh, you don't like him? No, I'm just joking. He's decent. He's okay. He's good for what he is. Yeah, the he's groovy de- rapper. Yeah, he's decent. He's cool. He's not 6'5", right. though. <laughs> not 6'5"? Yeah. Neither anybody 6'5"? Yeah. Like height? Some people thought he was 6'5". Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's tall, though. He's like 6'3". I don't even know. There's like, his height's not officially on on Google. It's, it's a mystery? It's like, so, yeah, some websites have him as like 5'10", 6'2", 6'3", 6'4". Like, Damn. It's, it's weird. I don't know why this is such a huge deal. <laughs> Anyways, for back the to fem- the Grammys. For the females, man. Oh, okay. Whatever. Um, Who are the winners? I guess the biggest album, right? Album of the year. Um, it was We Are from Joe. Oh, wait, John. Baptist? John the Baptist? The dude from the Baptist? Bible? Baptiste? I don't even know. I never heard of him. I didn't even listen to it. Wait, Mavis Staples was on it? Oh, that, might, that must be like religious then. Oh, so like a gospel album? Yeah, because uh, Mavis Staples was in a song with the Gorillas and Vince Staples, right? Was it? No it was. It in, wasn't uh, Vince Staples, wasn't it? Pusha T. Oh yeah, Pusha T. Wait, mm-hmm. let's, look, let's look over the nominees in general. Nominees in general were, I mean, Planet Her, uh, Ariana, Sour yeah. by Olivia Rodrigo. Yep, she won a lot of awards. I've seen uh, Happier, what Happier Than Ever from Billie Eilish, Montero from uh, what's Lil Nas his name? X. Yeah, Lil Nas X. Uh, Love for Sale looks like probably Lady Gaga. Don't my mind. Donda, Kanye. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. They don't say who it's by, though. Evermore just, is... Who's that? Evermore? Taylor Swift, maybe? Oh, yeah, maybe. Huh. Who knows? So this gospel album one. I think it was gospel. I mean, I could click on it, but... I gotta be honest. I'm not familiar with a lot of these albums on here. I mean, I know the artists. They're all... This is, like, mostly pop, really. Well, yeah. This be from last year, too. Technically, yeah, 2021, yeah, yeah. technically. Um, oh, Grammys are weird. They always give it to, like, whoever they think is, like, more artistic, not who commercially did the best, you know. It's not a numbers game in the Grammys. No. It's not. It's not about numbers though. It shouldn't be. No, that's what I'm saying. They give so, to, so how do they determine who's a better album? They have just a committee. how it is. Yeah, they have, a committee. They have a committee. Oh, really? mm-hmm. They have votes. Yeah, oh, and it all just depends on like you know how well it was produced or um, just they, some some lyrics. You know, like like the story it tells. I guess how it's all put together. You can't just have like random songs. You know, just yeah. they focus on the art. Whatever. They focus on the production. They focus on like the work they put in the album. As, as in, I didn't know that about the Grammys. So the Grammys is like probably the, is probably the most prestigious award, but at the same time, sometimes they'd be fucking up. Yeah, um, it's hard, yeah, it's hard. To, yeah, because then somebody that does do like big numbers doesn't get a Grammy. Like, what the fuck? What else can I do? But I guess if it is more about like the actual production of an album, it does make it more like. More of a pure standpoint, I guess. Yeah, so, like, cr- cr- Grammys have some credibility, but then they lose credibility because, like, you know, like, the big, big controversy for hip-hop fans was Macklemore winning over Kendrick Lamar back in the day. Oh, good kid, man. Yeah. So, yeah, no, that, not just that, and also being out Kanye, too. Yeah, and that, yeah. Like, yeah, like, that was, like, a huge controversy. That's crazy. Macklemore? <laughs> exactly. That's crazy. And Ryan Lewis. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and the Ryan. Oh, wow, the I remember producer. that. Everybody forgets the producer, man. Oh, uh, yeah, I do remember. Now that you said Ryan Lewis, I do remember that. That's yeah, so funny. That was, like, the big thing that they were, like, a lot of hip-hop people were like, F this, like, uh, you guys don't know what you're doing. But, yeah, that's pretty much, like, it's not really that the Grammys are that fucked up. It's just the hip-hop side of it is yeah. because they don't have, like, enough, I guess. Hip-hop heads or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much that. Yeah. So yeah, then, they need somebody like, at least in the know but yo that's not what good for the culture <laughs> yeah. so, so, they, so they really didn't pay attention to like you know the hip hop part of it and then they would just be like oh you know, this dude did better so, yeah. you know commercially so mm. that's usually who ended up winning it 
Damn. Yeah, but yeah. Who won, the, who won the hip hop this year? Or it would have been it would have been Ty, Tyler the Creator, right? Yeah, Tyler won the Grammy. Like, this is like his second or third yeah. Grammy. Second. Uh, call me if you get lost. I honestly, I didn't, I didn't have, I'm not a Tyler fan. I don't even. Really, no. Our friend is. He's a huge Tyler fan, but it wasn't bad. But I honestly thought Don the should have won. Yo, those were only four uh, nominees for that. Yeah, uh, it's the only I mean, four obviously coming up. We're biased. We probably I'm surprised. Jay Cole, really? I mean, that's. I'm not surprised he <laughs> lost. Yeah, that one. I, I don't even know why I got nominated. <laughs> honestly, it shouldn't, it shouldn't have been nominated. <laughs> There's so uh, many better I mean, albums. <laughs> rap albums. Okay, rap out of those. Albums. Okay, that one was more like. Actually, I don't mean, that's more of the commercial side. Yeah, like more I commercial said, like, side. he's a big artist, so you're gonna put him in there. I oh, think it's Drake. Drake's missing from here. So yeah, that's what's boy. crazy. I was about to say that. No, he he was nominated. I'm pretty sure it's just yeah. I don't know why it's not posted on Drake. Here. And um, also the baby Keem's album. Nas's was nice, dude. Yeah. Kings to see second. What? Nas is always fucking cold. But uh, those, baby I, Keem's album was it called? Yeah, baby Keem's I album. Thought, melodic, I, melodic. Uh, blue, I think. Blues, so. yeah. I think that one was better than all three of those. Like Donda uh, off season. I think you said that last time too, and, uh, but I still think Donda was better. But yeah, yeah. That, that was Baby Donda was good was though. Nice. His was good too. Yeah, um, out of those, if like if I, you know, obviously I'm a J Cole fan, but out of those, I think Donda is probably the best. Really? Also, but also I'm not a Tyler Creator fan, so like maybe I, it is a good album. So like I don't know. It's all right. But Have you like, heard it? Yeah. So I mean, it's mostly back to his old, not like old old style, yeah. but back to rapping instead of the you know high well. Popper. Voice coder, whatever yeah. the voice. I mean, actually listen. I like when he raps, when he like goes crazy. But yeah, there was a. Uh, oh no, I was thinking of a song with Maxo Cream. They have like a similar song that there's one in that album that sounds like it. Use the oh, same really? beat, but yeah. I remember when I first heard Tyler Creator. It was a song called like Tron Cat, and it's, <laughs> it's so good. And Roaches, I think Roaches was one of the first times I heard him too. This yeah. is his best song of the year, right here. Yeah, song of the year, uh, record of the year. Bruno Mars, under spot. Hey, they, 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 they make heat Silk, together. Silk, Silk Sonic, Sonic, they Silk make. Sonic. Dude, Anderson Pack is a boo. I love his music. He's I feel a, like he's just oh, a hit yeah. maker. He he's, makes good music. Dude, he was at the Super Bowl. Yeah, but he was the drummer. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. He, he was at the Super Bowl. He didn't, yeah, he didn't he sing a song. I didn't know that. That's why he started off as a drummer. Damn. Um, Let me see what song. Bad Habits. That's Stretcher. That's a generic yeah. pop song. Kiss Me More. Doja Cat. Cat. Oh, they won too, didn't Fight. they? I never heard Fight For You by her. I'm a fan of her. Peaches. Happier Than Ever. Peaches. Driver's Li- that song's annoying. Oh, yeah. Driver's License annoying. Song. You don't like Driver's License? You don't like it? Uh, what about Peaches? Man. I got my Peaches out in Georgia. Mm-hmm. Wait, why was it okay for Jesse Bird to do R&B? <laughs> what? Why? I don't know. He's pop usually, right? Yeah, he's yeah. pop. I don't know. Why not? I mean, That's not a pop song? <laughs> no. It's, it, it's, it's, a, it's a poppy song, but other artists are R&B artists. But I say that sounds kind of poppy. Like it's more because it's Justin Bieber. Yeah, because it's Bieber, and he yeah. makes it more like a pop song. It's not, I wouldn't say it's as slow as a regular R and B song. Out of those, yeah, I agree with this one because yeah, never heard of that song. I don't know. Leave the door open. Yeah, yeah. you've heard it. I'm sure you. I might have heard it, but I, don't, I didn't realize it was that. I agree oh. with this one. Like I think they got this one right. I don't know. I didn't really listen to a lot of those. I mean, I listened to them, but like, not my. Type of reggae music. album, let's go. <laughs> uh, I know none of these. I can't put it. Wait, wait, wait. Jesse, Jesse Reyes? No. Oh, that's Jesse Royal. Jesse Royal. Oh, I don't know how that is. All right, next. Best music video? Freedom. I didn't really? know they had music videos on there. Not that uh, gospel album again? Maybe. Good I don't know. You. Like, I think it's gospel. I don't know. That's, it was I did just watch a lot of music videos. But, uh, let me see. Mm. Billy Eilish, Lil Nas X, mm-hmm. Olivia Rodrigo, Lady Gaga, Justin Bieber again, so, ACDC. Really. I don't know what they're basing this on, but it's out of all these videos, I've seen most of them. I th- I, even though I don't really like it, the Montero was probably the best video. Who watches music videos? Hey, I, you, I watch all that's like he how, loves music that's videos. I listen to music. Have you ever hung out at his house? <laughs> oh, he does play music videos. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Yeah, not yeah. in pop album. Who fucks Alex Cuba? It's probably a Spaniard. Uh, Ricardo what? Arjona sings <laughs> It's not even Latin, though. Is Bad Bunny not considered Latin, Latin pop? Uh, not pop, urban, urbana. Or oh, that's right. He won Latin rap. I think Camilo should have won that. Camilo was like... Is I that because you know him? No, because he's a good pop artist. He, he, well, have you ever listened to the Alex Cuba? Cuba. Cuba. Bro, that's the thing with the Grammys, bro. They've been giving awards people you never heard of. But it's kind of fire. Like, like, but it's like, here's the thing, like... You're gonna disregard these known artists. I, these I think what artists. they should do, or do at you least. Listen to Latin pop. Uh, I, I'm I listen to Latin music in I, general. I think what they should do at least is just give out their credentials. Like what makes them like pick these winners? They just give out the credentials so we like people understand. 
Yeah. Well, we'll see. Um, Rap song. That's what. What's his face for? Right? Jail. Oh, jail one, bro. Yeah, that was, was my yeah, five yeah, best favorite Jay-Z. song from Donda. Bro, Jay Z and Kanye make like they make man they make magic together. <laughs> my life got nominated. Oh wow. I love Family Ties. Really, best friend. Wait, found How's one? that even? How's that? Is that even rap? Yeah, technically. It's like That's pop like, as hell. Yeah. Well, never the rapping. But she's my best friend. Uh, I like, uh. Family Ties I actually liked. I, yeah, yeah, Family oh, Ties was man. fire. I thought yeah. that could have. Yeah, Family Ties was good, but it was, they overplayed it. <laughs> they did overplay it quick. And then they made TikToks out of it. Oh, so. well, I'm not on TikTok. I'm not so. on TikTok either, yeah. but I still think it was overplayed. <laughs> Melodic rap performance. That's, that's what yeah. a hurricane. Okay. That song blew up, dude. I mean, yeah. It was an old song, but and I mean, baby still, shit. One. Damn, young boy got nominated. To say what? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> what? Damn. Oh, that's actually from Taylor Tyler's album. Oh, really? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm like, yeah, it's from his album. Mm. That's how all the titles are. They're like all put together and stuff. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Then I don't know what that means. Is it music no. film? Music film, so just movies. I thought oh, Bo. Okay. I thought Bo won. Bo won a lot of. Bo a couple of. He he won a couple Grammys. Oh. Which he's the, a comedian. The comedian, yeah. the guy that performs. Yeah, the Netflix special that he had. You know the movie. Oh, I haven't seen and that. The new one, I haven't seen like, it. Yeah, he won comedy album, and then he also won. Uh, or I think he won comedy. Did he smile that one. Have you ever seen Bo Burnham? Out of, uh, stand up. He does. He's funny, but he also does like a like a it's a musical kind performance. Of, yeah. I don't it's really, kind of cool. I don't really like his style. That's I, weird. I could have enough of it. Like I've had enough of it already. But like, <laughs> it's it's interesting to watch. Like you watch, like oh, this is different. But after a while, you're like, damn, this kind of yeah. Oh, the Foo Fighters one. Yeah, right it sucks. That. Uh, drummer died. Yeah, Crazy. Tyler Hawkins. Yeah. Metal performance. I don't really listen to musical metal. theater. They got all kinds of crazy, all sorts of stuff. R&B. Leave the door R&B. open. R&B. One for a song. Good. Good. Dance music, Rufus Dolso. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, a lot of these I don't even know. Oh, Jack. Non He does a lot of producing for a lot of pop stars. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I mean, you what, guys What was the Kenny Beats up there? Bad Bunny it's won Best that. Latin one, I think. Some Best movie. Rap Urbino. Uh, oh, right Urbino. there, Country. <laughs> Yo, what about that Country Art? <laughs> Stapleton. Heck yeah. yeah. He's, oh. a, he's a good country artist. I don't, don't even listen Casey to Country. Muscrat. Yes, I do. So I know more artists than you, sir. Yeah? Yeah. Probably <laughs> historical yeah. album, but I know I don't listen to country. I'm no. <laughs> but I know him though, Chris Ableton. He sings Tennessee whiskey, bro. Uh, you know Luke Thomas? Who? You mean Luke Bryan? Oh yeah, Luke Bryan. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this guy. Luke Thomas is a fighter, isn't he? No, he's. I think he's like a journalist. I don't even know who that is. I listen yeah, to country every now. Bad Bunny won best urban, urban. I think. I'm trying to look for it, but I'm not even seeing it around mm-hmm. here. There's too many awards. No, to see, there's Bo Burnham. So written for visual media. That's what it was. Oh, Louis C.K. won. Comedy? So, wow. Oh, I forgot comedy is in there. <laughs> yeah. Damn. It's considered. Didn't um didn't uh Kobe Bryant win like something off a book? Uh, I think it was for his, it was yeah, like Grammy, his wasn't it? TV show or something. It was an Oscar. The ESPN thing. Yeah. It was an Oscar. Oh, yeah. Kobe won an Oscar. Yeah. Oh, it was an Oscar. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Right. Yep. Latin uh, jazz. I didn't know. Was a thing? There was a thing. I'm about to listen to some Latin jazz. Just, wow. Damn. Would it be like Brazilian? I have no I idea. I don't think so. Yeah, a lot of these um, Latin rock, who won global that? music, Qantas. 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 Yeah. Qantas. Yeah. If you guys were to pick your guys' like rap album of the year, because I think that's something like we all here listen to is rap. I'm not sure about you, Jay. You don't really listen to rap, do you? Um, Denzel Curry. So if you guys were to pick that, your that own. That came out this year, though. Yeah. Dang. If, if you guys were to pick your own rap album, like you think was the best last year, who, who would you pick? What album? Um, I guess Donda. Donda, yeah. Donda? I think that's what I said last time. But I'd I'd have to look to you know see like what album I actually saved the most songs on. But yeah, Mel- I, Melodic Blue is actually my favorite album. Which is that Baby King? Yeah, Baby King. Yeah. I mean, mine's biased. It's, it's the off season J Cole. Really? Yeah. See, I like the off season, but to me, it wasn't his his best album. No, it's not his best album. But I still like it. Oh, there no, it is. Bad Bunny. It. Oh Who's yeah. Covered by that album. Yep. Um, Dang, that was a lot of Grammys. Other than that, though, second would be Donda. Really? Yeah, Don does. What about Certified Lover Boy? No. That one was trash. Did you? T- uh huh. That wasn't trash. Okay, was- Drake always brings out good stuff. This is like straight pop. Yeah, it's like a lot of shit was like. But, but I don't know. So he wasted a Young Thug and in, in, in Future feature for Up to Sexy or whatever. Oh. That's, that's a hit though. It's not a good rap song. Nah, but it's a hit. 
It's not a good. It's just a. It's, it's a commercial, <laughs> but it's not a good song. Uh, the one knife talks pretty good. That one. Twenty one savage. They're all like yeah. just songs that get you hyped. They're not. They're none of them are actually him like going crazy. Yeah, but it's, I don't know. It's just. No one. Yeah. Um, the, I think the weekend has been the, the most successful artist past two years. He, like all his his albums and songs. Are yeah, really and also there's not a lot of people in his lane. Um, He's just like an R and B singer that sings like pop, and he has a like, great hit, voice. He do trap. Pop, he do it so much, like and he and he collabs with so many like trap yeah. artists, rap artists. Dude, his uh, his twenty artists. twenty yeah. twenty album is still on the top charts. Like the, bro, it's because like, there's Which, nobody really in his lane besides like maybe Bruno Mars is kind of him, but Bruno Mars is like a different like style. Bruno Mars is way more like funky. And, well, he's doing that style right now. Yeah. He's not doing pop right now or anything. Yeah. yeah. You guys still talking about Drake? No, no, uh, Weekend and Bruno Mars. Oh, no. The Weekend. All right, yeah. never mind. I was like, what? Abel? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, huh. but Grammys, those are like, oh, people, a lot of people love, hate the Grammys. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was hoping someone would get slapped with the Grammys. <laughs> <laughs> the jokes they were saying, they better put, uh, uh, let, let, what's his face hosted? Um, Will, Smith, Rock. Will Smith raised no, the bar. No, no, no. Um, who's Kim dating now? What's his name? Pete Davidson. Oh, yeah, I have Kanye yeah, come smacking. Yeah, smack Pete Davidson hosted Kanye in the crowd. <laughs> that would <laughs> break records. <laughs> that would break records. <laughs> Man, I stopped watching the Grammys though. I don't think like we all didn't watch it, right? We just no, saw I didn't. the news and all that stuff. Yeah, I just saw I, didn't, honestly, I didn't even know there was a Grammy so, <laughs> before, until he came here. Like, hey, we're talking the Grammys. I'm like, are we? No, yeah, no, I saw that they were on, but I mean, what I've seen on Twitter is that it's the lowest. Audience that you know they had on TV since last year, and la- and it was only up by like one percent. So, Whoa. it's it's really low, and I, I think it's definitely losing its prestige. Do you think the Grammys is, or do you think TV in general? Both. I would say TV. No, because no, I, I don't. I don't think Grammys. TV really loses that much because it's it's on CBS. CBS it's is like the most public local, one yeah. that you can get. It's Every free. bar has it playing, it, whether yeah. or not it, there's something on it. Here's the thing with the Grammys: they're a lot of like the new gen doesn't care about them. Yeah. They care about performance, and the yeah. Grammys they don't go all out on performance. They they get like normal people to perform. Oh, man, they go all out sometimes. Yes. But when they do, <laughs> when they do, like something. when they had Daft Punk do that shit was yeah, awesome. Or, or, um, they made them a custom set. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but like dude, oh. only to the artists they want, like yeah. the artists they respect. That's the thing with the Grammys. They like they respect a certain type of music, and they have their own idea of what's good music, and they kind of don't respect the rest of the people's idea of good music. Yeah. It's just their own. If you, if you don't like it, then don't watch it. Or, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's kind of the great like, thing. It's also more for commercial music. Because I listen to a lot of indie rock and indie pop, and none of none of them are showing up there. Oh, yeah. no, it shows. They're, so the way with the Grammys, because there's so much awards, they don't put everything on TV. So there's, like, awards in during commercials. There's awards oh. beforehand on the red carpet. Um, and that's pretty much where all of them go. Kind of like, you know, best composer, best producer kind of stuff. Oh. But it's definitely they definitely give it to them. It's they just all, not they as have all kinds of showcased. categories. They have like world album. Yeah, they have like they even have like they had regional. I don't know. I think they had regional. They did have regional Mexican. Yeah. They have like instrumental album. Yeah. They yeah. have some weird categories in the Grammys. Yeah, like yeah. So no, they yeah they recognize them, just not you know they don't showcase it. I guess. Was the difference between like those Grammys and the Latin Grammys? No, I think it's just Latin, it's like Latin, Latin Grammys are just all Spanish music, really. I know, but it's like you think it's same on like where like how they pick the winner as it off like the similar credentials, or over there is like more about like or numbers. In the, in the Latin Grammys, man, it's just like I think it's even worse. Than Latin it's Grammys. Like, oh, really? They uh, they have their certain artists that they hold to uh, like a higher standard. A higher standard. They don't give anyone anyone else a chance, really. Hmm. Um, example when they gave. Album of the year to Luis Miguel for a mariachi album. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Over oh. Jay Balvin's Ginza. Yeah, I remember. You're, I remember you were pissed about that. Yeah, Talked he about said, it last week. Yeah. Yeah. So like <laughs> that's like I'm mean, that's like really like, and it was like it, it was like a cover album. He, it was literally Luis yeah. Miguel's. It's like Luis Miguel, Luis Miguel's comeback because he hasn't made music in years, and he came back and did a mariachi cover album. Hmm. And they were okay. like, "Yeah, this is the stuff we like." Screw, it, screw everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. This is what I want to listen to when I eat my food. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay. And yeah, that, that that's like, when I, okay, so what are you guys... Like you said, if they could just show what the credentials are, uh, yeah. people... That you can like, understand a little more yeah, but, of their thought yeah. process. Yeah. I think they, there was like some talk of actually knowing who who's all in the academy and everything, because it's usually like just some, you know, label heads and stuff, yeah, yeah. but... They want it to be. They want it to be known that way. It's not. Uh, what is it called? Biased. Sort of biased. I, I forgot the actual word for it. 
Um, but yeah, it's it's like bias, you know. They don't yeah. want people to think like, oh, he only won because you know yeah. that guy. Yeah. But yeah, like it was like more like it wasn't about like because he knows this person. He works for like labels or things. Yeah, stuff like that. But yeah. I don't know. We'll see. No, I, I kind of like the anonymous stuff. That way, you don't know who it is and when, whatever. When, but when it comes to award shows, like I, I kind of like don't even watch the Grammys anymore. Even the mm-hmm. Grammys, um, I actually prefer to watch like the, the BT Bill, Awards, the Billboard Awards. Oh okay? yeah, the Billboard Awards. Now that's numbers. Okay? Yeah, that's all numbers. Who gets paid more? Who sells more? But even gets, that, even, sort of, even I mean, they, they redesign that whole thing. I hate when every time they try to redesign like the the way they count that because stream plays is way lesser than any kind of CD plays that you get. And yeah, just or, because or album sales, whatever. yeah, because the way they were selling albums, people found out you know how to manipulate that, and then they had to like change the rules, and they really really messed it up. So yeah. I don't know. No one really buys albums now. No, but just the, the thing stream. that they, they did was do, digital just, albums counted, yeah. but then they would sell merch too, and like here's your free digital album, oh, and then that's how they would manipulate that. Like Nicki yeah. Minaj would win a whole lot just because you know she has huge huge fans. fan base, and yeah. they'll buy like merch and they'll get like, yeah. like and that. then they'll get a free album which went to the album sales, and they would make it go up. But then once that was you know. I guess revision. Then they took that out. Yeah. Then it was all pretty much like, all right, let's see how much YouTube is. Streams. How much, you know. Yeah. It was. Also, if a song know, was on a YouTube video, because oh, yeah. remember when the Harlem Shake came out? Oh, yeah. That shot it up to number one because everyone was using it. Yeah, 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 that's so true. So copywritten laws and all yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, today with TikTok, that's exactly like some. There's some TikTok songs. Songs that only get popular in TikTok, yeah, and then they make it up to the, they make it on the charts. No, but, I know yeah, but because of TikTok. No, I know because there's like songs. The other day I was in the car and a song called "Time Machine" came up. Mm-hmm. Like I was in a time machine, and I was with somebody. Like this is a real song. I was like, I don't know, and I heard it. They're like this is like a super popular song on TikTok, and mm-hmm. now they're playing like the radio and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. But like, like but like listening to one of that on YouTube or Spotify is like. A fourth of what it would count if you bought the CD or if you listen to it on yeah. the radio, which like different. Yeah, I don't know. It's yeah. weird the way they calculate all that yeah. parameters. Yeah. Well, to me, it's a little bit more fair because at least it's based on somewhat of numbers. Yeah, streaming, streaming for sure. But even streaming can be kind of weird, just because like, oh, there's do, robots too. Yeah, there's bots yeah, and shit like that too. Where people always, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And just because you stream a song doesn't mean like. You want? I don't know. If people just listen to songs because it's popular. Then it becomes like you're listening just because it's a popular song. Not because you're actually enjoying it. Yeah, but I like to watch the billboard because, like, mostly all the big artists show up to that. Yeah. Because they're like, okay, like, you know, everyone's here. Yeah. It's all about this. And yeah. they perform. They, they have a lot of performances. I, I like the mm-hmm. billboard awards, in, uh, Latin and regular billboard awards. Mm-hmm. Like, those are, that's my favorite award show. Mm-hmm. Never seen it. As far as music goes. Mine is Nickelodeon. Oh, a little slime? <laughs> a little a green blip? slime? The yeah, blip? slime, dude. Yes, sir. It's a blip? Yeah. yeah that's what oh, I'm yeah. to do. I remember what weekend one of his songs, I just won an award on a kitsch. It was like something oh, to the yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> was it? No, it, yeah, it was the song about cocaine. What was it? Um, fuck. I can't, I can't feel, my feel my face. Feel that me. song. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's that one. I'm like, what the fuck? This song won it in Nickelodeon's? Yeah, on the Kids' but, Choice Awards. Yeah, that's where they call it Kids' Choice oh, Awards. Oh, I can't feel my face when <laughs> I'm with you. Yeah. Damn, that <laughs> one. Nigga, they probably had no <laughs> idea what you were talking about. There's also the Teen Choice Awards, too. There is? I don't know. Nah, that's yeah. stupid. It's probably the same thing. The Teen Choice It's probably now just called that instead. And the VMAs. I like the performances. I used to, but I don't watch that shit. VMAs. I just don't no watch watch, Like No one watches music videos anymore. So they lost a lot of credibility. Um, so, like, I don't know. I used to like the VMAs because I, I watched the music videos. So I like the VMAs, but they don't, no one watches music videos. So it's not yeah. really about the music videos anymore. Yeah. So Because I feel like a lot of music videos are pretty, like, I don't know. I don't feel like they have the same meaning behind stuff like back in the day. But back in the day, it was more about like meaning, and like, and they like they kind of like correspond with the lyrics. Now I feel like I could watch a music video; it makes no sense what they're saying. It just holds like flat. Like uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I kind of like that though. Some like on some stuff, like kinda. In my mind, once I hear the album or you know the song, yeah, like I'll have something in my head. But then I see the video, I'm like. What the fuck? That's, that's, that's like the same thing when you like read different. a book and you think yeah. you, you have all these like uh, persons yeah. in your head how they look like. Well, then you watch I mean, the movie. So like Jay Bobbins' Colorless album, bro, I loved all those music videos. Oh really? Yeah. I loved all those music videos and like it all tied in with the album. It was awesome. Yeah. And I think it's probably uh, if it's, I think it's most his most creative album. Really? His best album is uh, Energia, mm-hmm. in my opinion. But uh, I think Gold is his most creative album. Yeah. See, and that's kind of like an example of what he gave. Like, Azul, that yeah. color is in the music video. It's a yeah. sad song or whatever. But when you hear it, it's a love song. And it's like, it doesn't correlate the same. Like, yeah. He huh. even says it on the Spotify lyric thing, um, like behind the music kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, the description, like, pretty much. This is a love song, whatever, whatever. And, but 
when you see the you get you got you know this music video right I with the little dog and everything the animated when he had like he got, he had like an anime girlfriend like it's like a dog. oh I, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, yeah, yeah, yeah so it's play, like a, it's like a love it's a, yeah. it's a love song but in that it's kind of like a sad heartbreak kind yeah. of song which is not even what so, it went for so then that's in, true. in Rojo that was like a really good video yeah um, and that's Ro- also a love car crash one yeah yeah that was a good music video in Rojo. And uh, I was like, it, it's a story, ties everything together. Yeah. It was dope. That was yeah. really good. And then he just has, has like his hype songs, Amarillo, Morado. Yeah. Blanco. Blanco. So the whole that whole album was just different colored songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's oh, that's, that's what it's called. Big. Colores. How many, how many uh, songs were on there? I think it was something like six or seven. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was maybe. Say, eight, how many colors can you pick? It, it was blue. It was purple. It was white. It was black. Was it the color of the rainbows or something? I, what? No, it wasn't. Because there was gray in there too. Oh. Uh, and there was Rosa. Rosa, yeah, that I love that song too. Better like, there, that, that was my favorite song. I Better there too with Sky. Yeah. Sky, I should listen to that album honestly. Yeah. But it's, it's a good one. Yeah, it sounds yeah. more like an LP. It, it, it was pretty much so, was, but yeah. I mean, it counted as an album. So yeah, yeah. he won. He won a Latin he Grammy. He won the Grammy thing yeah. for oh, really? album. Yeah. Damn, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I could play that song just back to back, kind of like Random Access Memories. There's yeah. just those albums that yeah. I can play start to finish, repeat again. And yeah. Dude, 2020 had great reggaeton albums. Really? You had Yarla Kuna La Gana, Anuel de Manuel. See, that's my favorite. That, see, I don't listen to Bad Bunny, but that album so super good. So albums were the same year. Yeah. Like, that, that was, like it was Emanuel, uh, Colores, Yarla Kuna La Gana, and um, which one? That's it, right? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, those like great reggaeton albums. Like, I liked all three of them. Like, yeah, I think I think I know his newest albums as like <laughs> really? which one is, Oh no, I love this. See, like this is the trap shit that I like. Oh, this yeah, is yeah, yeah. trap. Yeah, do you not like trap? Like, legends, uh, legends never die. La leyendas nunca mueren. Yeah, he is mostly trap. I do like trap, but like I don't know. I don't, is it, like, do you ever listen to his old old trap? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I like. I think it's like the trapaholics. No, like with De La Ghetto and De La like, Ghetto. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I like I like that one better. I don't know. I think he kind of changed the style. Well, yeah, because it's more popularized yeah. now and it's more hip hop. Yeah, it's exactly. more pop to so, it. But yeah. honestly, that's one thing I'm gonna start doing this year. I'm gonna start listening to more like Spanish speaking songs, like whether they're reggaeton or maybe just like whatever. Well, else. I just listen to Latin trap a lot, so I mean, yeah. that's what I liked. But like the one song Llorando en el Ferrari, I didn't like that just because it was like DJ, the, what I call Latin EDM. Mm. Oh it's, yeah, we, yeah. It's a new trend that's going on. Yeah. Latin EDM. It's all right. Honestly, nobody like here. Like Bepas, you know. Do you like EDM? I do. But you don't like any Latin? I do. Oh. I I don't. It's not that. It I just a, don't like a, that song. Like, oh, little, gotcha. like the Spanish EDM has this little little uh, familiar sound to it. Like okay. it's the trumpets, maybe I don't know. Maybe but Latin what? EDM has a little like, has its own peculiar little twist to it. Yeah. It's still electronic music. Um, like I like Trump. EDM to a certain point. But I couldn't go to just a uh, EDM concert. Concert and just all EDM. You know? Yeah, I th- unless you're 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 under the influence of something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that too. I guess that's. <laughs> <laughs> that's what makes, I guess it, fun. That's what makes uh, it fun. Yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> yeah, I like some EDM, but not like it's not my like, not something like this too every single day. Like a lot of our friends. For sure. Know? I, I just love the bass on a lot of songs. Like recent, so yesterday day maybe or two days ago, I was I was listening to orchestra music and that fucking bass from the cello makes so <laughs> like you got it's he crazy. A sound system. Yeah, yeah. so I got you know theory. I got my sound system and the fucking cello just boom boom. I'm just like oh my god, I'm gonna fucking listen to classic yeah. music now. Yeah. Bro, yeah. You, uh, but, like yeah. that shit. That, uh, Dude, look up Michael Giacchino. No, because I was listening to Beth, uh, the live one, the symphony. Oh, one. the like, Kiss Beth, symphony. I hear you calling okay. that mm-hmm. song. These and then just dun, dun, dun. Anyway. Nigga, that's Kiss <laughs> <laughs> Anyway There's these two guys Coming <laughs> to the Rosemont He's dumb He's like, said it's just Rosemont It's Kiss, dude <laughs> It's no, a classic no. rock There's like I don't know what they are I was gonna look into them But I forgot But now that you mention it yeah. There's these two guys Coming to Rosemont Called Two Cellos It's two guys Playing the cello at Rosemont and I was like huh. mm, maybe it's fire I don't know, maybe it is but look into look, it look I'm saying the symphony like the symphony music is making the cello yeah. is what makes the bass noise and I just love yeah. bass so yeah. anything with bass in there I, but I also like. just like there's certain instruments you can't like like replicate like they once you hear that sound like off the actual instrument it's played well it's like damn that's a that's a dope sound hey, yeah. like a trumpet live yeah or even like a violin something like a violin like or an accordion dude. or shit like dude, that you know how amazing that is you yeah. see how small that is and <laughs> 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 hey, I got, yeah <laughs> Y'all joke, but I mean that's yeah, that's hard to play. Awesome. Doesn't yeah. do you know, they have, um, It's like a keyboard nah. and like a bunch of buttons on the side. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, you have to like press it in and accordions out. Accordions are expensive as fuck. Bro. Any instrument is, man. Yeah, most instruments. Not, Even a flute. Skin <laughs> flute. 
Yeah, no. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> well, no, something else that happened last week. World Cup groups were drawn. World Cup here, I'm hyped. Like I get, like I'm getting to the hype again. I love the World Cup. World Cup, uh, kind of explain to me um, the groups, the group thing. Is it like the best two teams of that group or best three teams? Yeah. Uh, oh, to advance. Yeah. How do, they, no, how do they set Top up the groups? Oh, okay. The way how they set it up is there's pots, pot one, two, three, and four. So then there's also like, oh, how much is H seven? I don't know. Seven different groups. Pretty much just all the people that, you know, qualified. Yeah. Um, yeah. They all get put in a bowl. Yeah. They draw from that bowl like this is a group that you're going to be in. Group A is always the host. Yeah. So the, the but the group like A is the most. The most. the host. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the best teams are in one pot. That way the best teams don't be all in the same group. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the sense. best te- So they put the pot one. They pull each each group. The, the top, pot one the top, first. Yeah. Mm. So that we they each best all the best teams get their own group. Uh, so they don't feature each other to the finals or whatever. Yeah. And then it's the then it's then the second part is like the second the next teams that are the yeah. best. Then and the, the last part's like the worst ones. Like the mediocre ones. Yeah, yeah. mediocre ones. So there's I think there's four pots total, right? There runs I don't four. know how many. There's four there's, pots. Yeah, it's four pots. So what, yeah. what are the chances of USA getting out their group? So let's look at USA's chances. group. Let's start with USA. So that's gonna be group B. Group B consists of England, Iran. United States and the playoff winner of the oh, you know, for Europe, which is either going to be Wales, Scotland, or Ukraine. I think it's going to be Wales because uh, I don't think they, I don't think uh, they I have Gareth Bell. I think it's going to be Wales too. I don't think Ukraine's going to participate. They're saying uh, I was listening to like broadcasts. They're saying that Ukraine's not going to participate because they got a good team though. Honestly, going on. Yam, Yam, yeah, Yamalenko, and uh, Yamachuk, and also who else? I don't know. They got they got good people. Lomachenko, uh, Zinchenko. That'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Boxer, no. Um, um, is it Zinchenko? So I don't think Ukraine's gonna participate. But if they do, then it's between them and Wales. There's but a player in Wales that's really good. Who is it? Gareth, Gareth Bale. 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 Gareth oh, yeah. Bale. Joe Roden. <laughs> ben Ramsey. Davies. Aaron yeah. Ramsey. Okay, so Wales is probably gonna advance. They, right? yeah, most likely. Yeah. But, dude, I love Wales too. You know, just because uh, they got a lot. Well, two Tottenham players. Three, if you count Bale, really former. But, former. I mean, but, Tottenham. Bro, England was USA, bro. Revolutionary War Part Two. <laughs> part Three. Part Three. Oh <laughs> yeah, Part Three. They played in 2010. They tied one one. USA, USA won. We won. One, oh, one. We won. We won. One, one, one. Oh, because of the Goal. No, it was one one. We won. They one, won one. out of out of. It's like when when you didn't one, see one, there one. was a news story that said U.S. wins one one. It's like when Mexico uh, when Mexico beat Brazil one one. Oh, I got it's it. like it was, that. It they won off the pride. Yeah, yeah. I, okay, that's yeah. interesting. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, also, fine. Revolution War Part Three. <laughs> they tied that. I think the U.S. went through, didn't they? Yeah, uh, England, and England. Then we lost to what Ghana because they yeah. won. <laughs> so I, I yeah I see I see U.S.A. in England. I do not see okay. us advance. Well, I don't know. It right. depends. I just see them beat Wells. I, I, see Wells I would Iran. love for us to advance. Oh, okay. I just, yeah. I really, look, if Wells is in it, I feel like Wells and England are going to, like, win all their games. Also, I, I just, have some faith in USA, man. Iran is, er, apparently has, has a good faith. team, too. Iran? Iran yeah, always Iran. qualifies. Apparently USA has a good team, too, though. Iran always qualifies. But, but Iran Dude. never makes out the group stage, though. So, never. I don't know. Either I, way, this is a competitive. This is going to be in Qatar. yeah. This is going to be in Qatar. They're going to be surrounded by the Middle Eastern. It's a advantage. Good Damn, point, you guys are going to be hated over good there, point, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Damn, good point. I didn't even think of that. All right, bring out the rainbow laces then. But, but <laughs> <laughs> the rainbow jersey numbers. Yes. <laughs> Get them pissed. Yeah, so that's uh, that's the USA's group. Um, I think they need to tie against England and beat, obviously, Iran and Wales or Scotland or Ukraine. Um, it's possible if we, like, draw a lot of them and just beat Iran or something. Yeah. I think, but it's going to be hard. Honestly, that's, Wales is really good. I think that's the meme group. The meme group the memes. All the memes are gonna oh, come shit. out of this. I feel like uh, okay. I feel like Group C is gonna be Argentina and Poland. Honestly, that's so, what yeah. I, so that's Mex- what I so think. So next thing, uh, Mexico Mex- group. Mex- Mexico. Oh my God, bro. Yeah, so Argentina, crazy. bro. Argentina. Yeah, so. so we were funny. We we're talking about last week about the rivalry yeah. Argentina and Mexico. So Argentina has knocked out Mexico out of the World Cup twice in the past twenty years. Yeah. Um, and uh, now this will be the third time they face each other. Well, it's the fourth time, but it th- you know. It's going to be the fourth time they feature in the World Cup. And this time it was in the group stage. Yeah, the first time it was in the group stage. That was like in the 80s or something. Yeah. And then uh, 2006, you and Argentina knocked out Mexico in the round of 16. Yeah. And then uh, in 2010, 2010, 
They got the same thing oh, really? in the in the final sixteen and knocked us out again. I think wow. almost positive. Uh, but yeah, and so like it's just like Mexicans are like, what the fuck? Like, and our trainers like, yeah, we have it easy, you know. Yeah. And they're just starting up their rivalry. So like the hype from that that when they drew that group, the hype from that rivalry, the World Cup committee moved their game later. Really? So like so, so like, oh, Mexico and Latin America can watch it. Damn, already that's fire. Yeah. Damn. But um, I don't know, man. I don't think the way it's saying like Mexico's playing, I don't think they're coming out. One thing to consider: uh, Mexico, they always get knocked out of round sixteen. Yeah. Always so remember, there's uh, the group stages. Then the top two move on. Then it's round sixteen. Then quarters and semis. Mexico always makes it out the group, but doesn't get past the yeah the fourth game <laughs> because it's three games in the group stage. Fourth game's round sixteen. Yeah. Then knockouts. They never oh. been there. basically. Yeah, but once they get after the group stage, they the Mexico yeah, loses. But uh, would they even know, get like, out? Huh? Would they even get out of this one? Honestly, like the they Poland, can't. They the, can scrape by. Like the same thing with USA, right? Like they could beat one of these teams and then. I don't. Okay, so Poland is going to be hard. Like yeah, I, Poland, I, I think good. you think Poland, you, you, you think Poland good. is like easy right now, but they're, they're a good team. They're, no, they're yeah. not. They yes, they are. <laughs> dude, That's they're good. That's it. It's literally Lewandowski it's him, and dude. ten other players, bro. No. So, but that, think about Lewandowski. No, you got Chesney too in goal. Bro, he that's, went to score on Chesney. That's I'm all scared. you need. But all you need is a when, goalie. But who did he score on him? And a scorer and a scorer. In front of you. When? Last year. Last year. But here's the thing. Lewandowski is alone right, is better than any team which Mesco one? has. Any player that Mesco has. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? What did he say? <laughs> Including <laughs> Ochoa. Le- Le- Lewandowski alone is better than any player that Mesco has. Who okay. does Mexico have? So, I mean, right now, yeah, but I mean... But it's one player is not going to make like, your team. Bro, yeah. the thing is, Mexico doesn't have any players either. Yeah, we, we don't have... Don't even have a superstar. We, we have a more form, better form team than they do, though. You think so? Like, yeah, like like players have been playing together for a long time. Um, how do you know that? I don't... Because see, Pata like, doesn't call up any new players, so his players are playing against... <laughs> but how do you know Poland yeah, that's is on form? You don't but, know okay, you're like, so I'm going off stats. You're going off... Oh, you know, which is Mexico. I'm going off stats. Also, okay. Poland got last place in the group last year in the Euro. Well, 2020, wherever it was, 21. Yeah. Last place. Okay? Last place Good in point. the Euro. Good point. Uh, they need. They had to go to the playoff to qualify for the World Cup. Mm. They couldn't even qualify directly. Okay? Okay. <sighs> so, and then, so Poland, and then in the last World Cup, 2018, Poland didn't make it out of the group stage. They didn't want to game. Yeah, that's Poland. true. That's true. So, like, Poland's track record isn't good either. It's just, everyone's just scared of Lewandowski. Cause yeah, because he's a he's a finisher. Yeah, he's top three in the world. He's one of the he's been like that for the longest time. Yeah, he's like top three. In he the can world. score a goal anytime he wants, man. So so like so like here's the thing like yeah I, I, the 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 key game is gonna be Poland. We have to be Poland. Yeah. See how they have to are? beat Saudi Arabia too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they have to be yeah. Saudi Arabia. Yeah, that should be a gimme. Everybody has to be Saudi Arabia. That should be a gimme. So like, but yeah, no, if like Poland is gonna be like, you know, if we're like. More evenly matched against Poland, then that's we have to win. You know, yeah. Argentina. They're a huge favorite. Argentina. Same, but here's oh, the thing: yeah. Germany was a huge favorite. We beat Germany. Same thing, right? Anything can happen in the World Cup. No. But that's that's why like it's just I don't know. It's just, anything can happen. That but, Germany team sucked too. Yeah, I mean they didn't do good. <laughs> they but, lost to South Korea. But uh, what, we were, what's we, wrong with South Korea? It we was their first game though. You know, so they shouldn't. You know, and that, made, and that killed their vibe losing to us, and then. Phew, yeah. <laughs> then they lost to Sweden. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's because they went down to Brazil. <laughs> you know, just these teams that go to other continents, not the same. But yeah, so uh, that's Mexico's group. Um, a lot of broadcasts have been saying that there's no like group of death. I, I would disagree. Dude, I think yeah. H. The one I think, with I think group the H. The one with Canada. Oh, Canada's group. Canada has a tough yeah. man. So. All right, we're back. So as I was saying, um, a lot of broadcasts are saying there's no group of death. That group of death means like the the group is uh, the competition is so close, like you know. I know what it means. Well, people who don't know who it means. Oh, explain. It. <laughs> Damn. Oh, please explain. <laughs> oh, the way you're staring at me, me. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Uh, the group of death means like all the teams are like evenly matched, that nobody can predict who's going to move on, and that's what people are saying they don't think there's a group of death. I disagree. I think Group H is a group of death. Yeah. Like group H is Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay, and South Korea. Oh yeah. All these countries have good players. All these countries have have stars. Have they're athletic. I don't know who's going to go out. If I had to make a prediction, I think Portugal. In Uruguay. You think Portugal? I, I think just mm. Portugal. I'll just pick Portugal. I'd choose pick South Korea. Korea. They're yeah. fast. Dude. You both pick South Korea? They're yeah. fast. They're human, son. The whole team's fast. Really? Just to win the group. South who, Korea. 
Who um really as yes, favorite? To win the group, I think they can. Yeah, they even don't Uruguay, fa- honestly. You don't like, say you don't have faith in Uruguay. I don't think they yeah, have Uruguay they're, and they're South like, Korea like, is like the two that I think are. Yeah, I was gonna say Uruguay. I feel like Uruguay. I'm confident in Uruguay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, they still got Cavani, they still got Suarez. Yeah, um, I feel like they always have. They always play. They always play well in the World Cup. Mm-hmm. They do play good in the World Cup. They right? always I mean, play well in the World Cup. Yeah, so that group, I think that's the group. But I, mean, I, I, I don't know. Let me just Portugal and one more. I, I couldn't tell you. Who Portugal's there. tough. It's because, like, um, I just don't think Portugal's, like, they're so hot and cold. Like, yeah. I feel like it's going to be, like, just when they were trying to qualify, they barely made it to. Yeah. Um, and, like, a lot of their better players are already older now. Pepe, Ronaldo. Sort of. Yeah. Sort of. I mean, Dude, with, with Ronaldo, when, when yeah, they played against, uh, uh, who was the first playoff against? They won 2-0? I don't know. I didn't really pay attention to them. Um, we were watching it. I sent it to you. I you're, you're watching Italy and them at the same time. I don't know. Anyway, well, anyway, the one of Portugal's playoffs before the World Cup, uh, Pepe wasn't in defense, mm-hmm. and oh my God, their defense was playing horrible. Mm-hmm. Um, they put the Pepe couldn't play because of too many yellows. Surprisingly, yeah. um, the, <laughs> and then uh, against Macedonia, Pepe's back, and boom, their defense was back together. Yeah. So it still depend too much of the veteran players. Yeah. Um, Ronaldo, if he shows up, Ronaldo, Ronaldo, bro. Yeah, but if he shows up and it's like he, he's gonna be key factor for them, obviously. Obviously, yeah. You know, uh, Ghana. I mean, you know, all these uh, these African teams, bro. They're strong. They're, they're they yeah. you know, they'll last the whole game with the same pace. Uh, Uruguay has Suarez, has Cavani. Yeah. South Korea has Hume Ming Son. Um, you know, like they have like super fast team. It's a good group. Jackie it's, Chan. Yeah, yeah, but um, listen. Kim. Um, All right, Kim. Um, <laughs> yeah, but that's. Uh, I think I, for me, it's Uruguay and Portugal. To be honest, but like I said, I don't. Really, you guys know more about I soccer think it's than Portugal I do. Portugal and South Korea. If I had to pick. Uruguay, they they still depend too much on their players. A team, uh, I mean, Group F looks good too. So that's Canada's team. I don't think Canada's making it out of this team. This group. Oh, you don't. Yeah, Belgium, Canada, Croatia, Me, yeah. Morocco, Morocco. That that's 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 like gonna be competitive. Yeah. Belgium, Croatia, and Canada. Mm-hmm. I, I like that. I think I'm giving Canada too much, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, if anything, Belgium and Croatia should yeah. probably make it. I don't know. Canada, Croatia, Canada, Croatia has older players too. Canada you know? has to be either Belgium or Croatia, either of them. Yeah. And that's gonna be tough. Tough, 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 tough. Uh, the group on top of it was a Germany, Mexico, Japan, and, um, and then the playoff between Costa, Costa Rica, Rica and New Zealand. I mean, Spain and Germany, right? Yeah. No. No. What? No. You think Japan's that good? <laughs> no. Costa Rica. I, I feel like Costa. Yeah, Costa Rica's gonna oh. upset. Again, Dude, remember, yeah. remember the World Cup? They, yeah. They really really that, yeah. Yeah, Costa Rica was in the group of death not too long ago, and they got first. <laughs> like Germany's all right, but I think Spain. We'll probably go through and maybe Costa Rica if they make it out of uh, the playoff or that, whatever. That'd be interesting if they do. No, but they're they're good. They're they what they do is pretty much like the low block, which is defend, 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 and mm-hmm. then counterattack, and then they'll defend. And yeah. nobody like German teams, like all of them, they don't know how to attack that. They just so, try to make the passes, but they can't get through. Yeah. The, they can't penetrate the defense. Yeah, I mean that's actually a good. That's actually interesting. Yeah, they also have the aging yeah, goalkeeper though. Eight. Well, he's well, getting so old. Taylor. Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Does? He's getting so old. You said Asian. 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 Oh, Asian. oh Asian. I thought you said Asian. Yeah, that's why I was like, <laughs> I kind of second guess that. Talking yeah. about Japan. <laughs> yeah, but um, I don't see. I haven't seen Netherlands. Did they qualify? Yeah, Netherlands. They they're did. the first one to qualify. I think. I think Ooh, they're, more they... they're in the first group. Oh, okay, so yeah, with see Qatar, Ecuador, and Senegal. Dude, Senegal, and Netherlands got to go through. Bro, I think Ecuador can beat Senegal. You think so? Yeah, that's Ecuador, crazy. Ecuador can, I, I'm a bad on that game, actually. That is crazy. Senegal's gonna no, win. Senegal is is just playing incredible right now. No, they're not that good. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Why'd you whisper that? Egypt. Why'd you whisper that? Like he doesn't Egypt have has more Salah, and that's it. And they struggle against Egypt. No, they got Elini no, too. No, those are those laser pointers. <laughs> the Arsenal <laughs> player, I think. Anyways, like they they they're not they I don't know I don't think Senegal is as good as yeah. they perceive it to be. Africa Africa is a tough league to play because of how how physical they are. Yeah. But when it comes to skill and strategic stuff, they're they're I, honestly, bro. I love the World Cup. <laughs> yeah, it's dope, man. I love it just because like obviously like you see like European team and group things like you get the best of the best players like, playing against each other. Yeah. And like you see like a lot of like, domination, but with this like it's just so fair like. Th- if you're born there, it doesn't matter where you're born. Matter of chance. So like you're just raised and play with these people that are born in the same country as you, or become citizens or whatever. And you play with the other countries that are in a similar situation, and that's why the games are so competitive because nobody's being stirred up with like the best players. And it's a neutral field. 
Yeah, he's a neutral field too. Yeah, and it's also cool, and it shows you like what country does have the best players and what like country does take like yeah. soccer like series, the like co- Germany, Brazil, Argentina. Coaching is such a key factor in the World Cup. Do you think so? Catch a key factor. Well, yeah, I, I believe Germany, so too. Yeah. Germany got rid of their coach, Quirky oh, really? Yeah. And so now they got a new one, and apparently he's, he's uh, changing it up. Yeah, he won the cha- the three championships with Bayern. Oh the, really? Oh, Kandeski or something like that? Or, or? No, I forgot his name, but he yeah, but he then he, Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was quite his name. <laughs> but yeah, he uh, he he was coaching Bayern. He won Champions League, uh, German League, and the cup with Bayern. And then mm-hmm. uh, Germany hired him. And they fired him. Hired him. To take oh, over. now they hired him now? As I say, no, like they, he's been taking over the team for uh, about a year or two now. Damn, um, doing this long to hire him? Well, Joaquin Lowe has been Germany's coach since 2006, I think. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah he, he had the, yeah, he finally said his, well, yeah, they want to fire him. That's the difference between at least Mexico and German team, I mean, European teams. Like, they respect a coach's tenure. Yeah. They're like, even though you're doing bad, we're just not going to fire you. Yeah. We don't let you finish out We this. respect what you've done. We respect what you've done. If it was anyone else, like, nah, you out. But imagine be like, nigga, you suck. Yeah. You might have won the championship two years ago, but you <laughs> asked yeah, us here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get out. Um, so yeah, so he fought Joaquin Below. He, he finished his time with Germany, and they got this guy who coached Bayern Munich. And he's yeah, everybody else in the team. Yeah. But like coaching is such a key factor in the World Cup. Yeah. Like a, a a smart coach can turn the whole game around, or if he knows the other team well enough to put a strategy behind it and execute on the field, yeah. uh, win, win the and game. That kind of goes hand to hand with what I was saying because like usually some teams could win off like straight talent, like in the club yeah. teams, right? Because mm-hmm. they're just so talented in team. Yeah. This you actually have strategy because not everybody in the team is talented, so you got to figure shit out. Yeah, yeah. Or you got to know how every every team style of play yeah. is. Like every team plays differently. Some teams play the same. Yeah. You know. I I just I feel like World, the World Cup is the most competitive soccer platform there is. Like tournament, I guess there is. Um, I don't know about competitive, but it's the most entertaining. I think the most competitive. I don't think no, nah, not competitive. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, you the Champions, like the Champions League, League is definitely above it. Yeah, like in competitive. I guess you're right because they're the best of the best. Because it happens yeah, every year. Really I feel like that's more entertaining. See, I feel like that one's more entertaining because it's so much more flashy. So, I mean, there's both two different things, entertaining and competitive. This one has more pride. But, I mean, that both can happen. That's what it is, honestly. It's yeah, just that's, more grit that's in what it. it is. Yeah, that's what it pride. is. Yeah. It also takes four years. Yeah, because, yeah, you know, and World it. Cup's cool, but yeah, like, you yeah, have, yeah, like, yeah. Tunisia, who's probably going to get destroyed yeah. by France and... You know, like yeah, that's what it is. More pride for them. Going to get that curse where they don't make it out the group stage. Yeah, so there's a, there's a World Cup curse. Uh, every, like... Uh, every World Cup champions to next year they get kicked out of the group like Germany, they don't make Spain. It to the group stage. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's crazy. We'll see if it's yeah. true. I, I think they'll make it out of this. <laughs> they should. I love two hey, I, I mean, you could have said the same thing, thing about Germany uh, last World Cup. Like you saw the group there, and like, oh, they'll make it out of that. They they, didn't. Yeah, they yeah. didn't, which is crazy. Yeah, I don't know. That's the thing. We just never know what the World Cup, man. You know, like who's gonna win the the golden boot? Who's gonna win the golden ball? Who's gonna win, who's gonna win the Harry best, best, mm-hmm. best goalkeeper? But you have an idea of all that. The World Cup, you don't have an idea. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Anything can happen. Right? Yeah. Some players were like, so like Diego Forlan. He he was the, the most famous he ever been because of the World Cup. Yeah, because when the, uh, the, the that tw- was the year, tw- Africa 2010. That's the year that Suarez bit that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he did the handball. Yeah, he did the oh, handball. Suarez was on. He was bro. he was going crazy. Yeah. That year. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, is there's some players that like make their name known in the World Cup, and then outside of it, they do okay, but not as good. You know, yeah. just like Ochoa. No, uh, fucking uh, James. Mm, Ochoa, yeah. J- same thing, Ochoa too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. James uh, Rodriguez too. He had two. two oh, James, James, yeah. James. Yeah. yeah, James. James. Yeah, James. Yeah. In so Colombia, yeah. That year, the twenty. Was that twenty fourteen. Yeah. 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 That yeah. screamer of a goal he made. Yeah. That was crazy though. I, I, people think it's like an awesome goal, but I just think it, I don't think it's that it impressive. It's hard to control a ball with your chest and then volley it in. I think what it makes it also is because it was the World Cup too. He did it in the World Cup. Yeah, yeah. I guess, but I, I don't know. I didn't see it as impressive. Yeah, but uh, yeah, there's some players that are, like make their name up. They only do good in the World Cup. Yeah, you know, something like yeah, because yeah. when Hamez, because right there he got sent to Real Madrid and he was like just doing all right. He was doing okay, but then the coaching changed and yeah. he just stopped trying. Now he plays in Saudi Arabia. Or, no, does not he play with Everton? No, he went to. I thought he like still is under them, but can't play or is not playing well, because he's, well, he's playing in Saudi Arabia or something like that. Huh. Yeah, so that's crazy. But yeah, but um, the odds came out uh, according to the odds favorite to win is Brazil. Interesting. Brazil. I can see that. Brazil, France. I think Neymar needs needs it. Brazil hasn't won in a while. Yeah, the last time they won a World Cup, two thousand two. Yeah, but that's like that team though, bro. Ronaldinho, Ronaldo, Ronaldo Kaká, yeah. 
Bro. Julio Cesar. Julio, no, that was Dida. No, Dida. Julio Cesar Chavez? No, it was Dida. Like, that team is fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, four Ballon the Oro winners on that team. Damn, for real? <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. So, but yeah, that yeah. was the last time uh, Brazil won the World Cup 2002. Yeah. But yeah, man, World Cup here. I'm excited, man. South Korea? Another thing I love about the World Cup, bro, is the, the, the music, bro, the songs for the World Cup this yeah. year, you know? Uh, almost, almost a, yeah, one of them already dropped one of the songs. Did it? But, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but they, I like it because I, you know, uh, I, well, I, we speak Spanish, so there's the English and Spanish ones. Yeah, so I like both of them. Yeah, so, Waka Waka is still banger. Yeah, but Pitbull, you know, the one with J Lo. Yeah. We are one. Yeah. That shit was fire, you know. Wait, uh, speaking back to that curse you said, didn't Spain win back to back one year though? They won the Euro and then they won the World Cup. Uh, and then won the Euro again. Yeah, mm, that's what happened. Yeah. That was their back to back. Yeah, now also that Spain team was just Barcelona and Real Madrid. Yeah. They also announced a new ball too. Yeah, the Al Rahia. Every World Cup they have a new yeah. ball. Yeah, yeah I know. That's so what's the thing about World Cup? I still remember the twenty ten ball too. <laughs> the Jabulani. Yeah, yeah. No, the very controversial one. Yeah. Why was it controversial? Let's say it it's curved too easy. Yeah, uh, because uh, it had like no ridges or anything. Uh, really. It was like a perfect sphere, pretty yeah. much. Like the, the aerodynamics of it made it to work. It would yeah, be you, you know anywhere. how a golf ball has dimples yeah, yeah. to make it go straight. And the, the this thing was like smooth. Yeah, like, so you sort of. couldn't tell where it's going. So sometimes you'll get like a knuckle ball going to the top left. You That's know, when crazy. It's going straight and shit. Were there yeah. a lot of goals that year? You say like, yeah, there was crazy goals like yeah. that. There was crazy the like free kick goals. There yeah. were for Lance were like three, two free yeah. kicks. That's why he got five because his free kicks. I was like, every time he scored a free kick, I was like, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, it's cool, man. World Cup, bro. There's a new World Cup ball. There's the music. The music. The mascot. They announced the mascot. That mascot looks dumb. <laughs> He's not one head piece. For so the Mexicans were like, "Is it a tortilla? <laughs> Tortillas?" I'm like, "Wow, yeah." The mascot uh, is uh, a turban, like a turban thing, not a turban. Wow, well, the, the head. Thing. It's a head piece. The head, that what they it. wear. The, a job? The, 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 no, no, no. no the, it's what the, the guys wear, like the white with the light like, little. Oh, the, the I know. She the do rag. Basically, yeah. the middle, the, yeah. the yeah. desert do rag. Like, <laughs> That's what it's called. Man, man. man. I want to get me one. <laughs> Desert do rag. Desert do rag. <laughs> I mean, that's. Let's see if I can pull it up. That thing is the World Cup mascot. Yep, yeah, it's the World oh, Cup mascot. Yeah. Laib. <laughs> Man, Laib. look at all those old ones. But those are the previous mascots. Chile Picante, or was it Pique? Pique. Yeah. Was that Mexico or something? Yeah, yeah. you could tell. <laughs> Juanito, 1970. Shout yeah. out to Juanito. We all look like that now. <laughs> Where's Man. my sombrero? Yeah, Russia's was a wolf, which is kind of cool. Uh, Brazil's armadillo. It was Juanito was in Mexico too. Yeah, yeah. nineteen seventy. And in nineteen eighty six. Yeah. Well, in nineteen eighty six. You know what's crazy about those different. two World Cups? Uh, what was it? Different. It was different mascots. I know, but it was the same. Yeah, both Mexico hosts. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. So those two World Cups were uh, nineteen seventy Pele with Brazil won that one. Eighty six Maradona with, with the Argen- hand of God. Argentina won that one. Like, in eighty six. Yeah, history. Like in, in World Mexico, those World Cups. By looking at these mascots, you guys can can you guys tell who hosted? Because like, seventy eight nah, was think, Argentina, right? Argentina. Argentina. That's Argentina for sure. That's England. That's Africa. That's England. Oh, is that England? Oh, that's England. England. The Lions. Oh, uh, uh, Germany is the one. This one I'm not too sure. Right? Spain. Is. Spain. is it Spain? Yeah. Uh, Spain. Italy is nineteen ninety. Mexico. Italy. Yeah. yeah. Ciao. Wait, what about seventy four? What about USA. Wait, seventy four. Seventy four was Germany. Germany. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, is it? Yeah, no. that was Germany. Fotix. That was France. France. Uh, that was that South, South Korea and Japan. Korea. Yeah. <laughs> you could tell. I, would, I don't know. I can't tell. Oh, <laughs> six. I can't tell. Oh, six. Oh, six is Germany, too. Yeah, that's uh, Germany. It's Italian. Italian. I wouldn't have guessed ten. South, ten Brazil? Brazil? South Africa. Oh. South. I know where it was, but I wouldn't have guessed it. And then Armadillo for Brazil, Brazil. And then Wolf for Russia. What about 94? That dog. USA. USA. USA oh, dude. USA. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. What's her face opened up the World Cup with the bowling pins? What was it? Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston and messed it up. She what missed a penalty. Fuck? It was a penalty. Was it? She what? was supposed to shoot a penalty straight, you know, to the yeah. goal. But she, like, f- made it go all the way left or right Damn. or whatever. And the goals is supposed to split after she made it. Mm. And they're just like, fuck it. <laughs> and they <laughs> split it open. Like, she was uh, on crack, man. What can you do? <laughs> she's uh, never kicked the ball. With 94, apparently. that's the one with uh, Pablo Escobar. Well, the Escobar oh, thing. Oh, yeah. That one documentary. The Escobar defender. Oh that guy. yeah, so uh, um, USA it was USA versus Colombia, and uh, Colombia ended up losing because they scored an own goal. Mm-hmm. And that defender Escobar, when he got back to Colombia, they killed him. Damn. Yeah. That's some crazy shit. Yeah, and that's when like 
So that like brought attention oh. to how bad the narco stuff was in Colombia. That actually helped like shut down the narco movement because of that infamous. Thing. Was it I'm, wasn't something like that happening too in 2014 when like Neymar got injured and they like threatened to kill like a, some player? Yeah, when they when they need him in the back and almost paralyzed Neymar. Yeah, who did that? Uh, I don't remember what what game it was. Was it Colombia? I was it? I think it was Colombia. Yeah, I think it might have been, but I remember like they're like crazy. they're like trying to protect that player because people yeah. were trying to kill him. Yeah, well, dude, the thing about that Neymar was on fire, bro. Yeah, I, I remember. Neymar was like that was like Neymar when Neymar cared, Neymar tried, yeah, yeah. and that was a huge loss to Brazil losing yeah. Neymar. But yeah, I remember that they were did he did get death threats for yeah. injuring Neymar. Yeah. Then then the Colombians like if you kill touch him we're, we're touching. Yeah, 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 exactly. I remember that actually now. Yeah, yeah. but. Uh, World Cup controversies. But anyway, World Cup year, you know, it's, I'm mm. excited. We'll see what mm. happens. Uh, they released the times. They're actually going to meet them later. The earliest game will still be at 4 a.m., but they're going to put, like, the teams that, like, like Tunisia versus, you know, Sweden. The WAC teams. The WAC teams at those times. Yeah. Uh, and then... Uh, well, that worked better for their time zone, wouldn't it, though? I have no idea. I don't know what time zones of the world. But yeah, Mexico, and Chile, Mexico and Chile games actually going to be at 1 yeah. Like I told you they they moved it up, and yeah. then against Poland's gonna be at ten a.m. That's yeah. not too bad, you know. Yeah. Um, you know how many different time zones there are in the world? Twenty four. So that was gonna say. Yeah. yeah. I, I was asking him. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so they it's moved the times a bit. So that makes that makes me more excited for it because mm. I can wake up and watch them. I will make sure I have those days off. You know what I'm saying. You, know? you will yeah. see. You in England are gonna play on Black Friday. Yeah, they are. Oh shit. This is gonna be the most watched USA soccer and, game. And Black Friday pretty much is like the actual Black Friday on Friday. Yeah, like, yeah. Friday. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Yeah. So it's gonna yeah, be good to World Cup. And uh, even though there are rivals, I, I do like seeing USA in the World Cup because I like seeing the United States excited about soccer. Yeah, me too. So you know, yeah. always. But why is USA women so good? What? Because we care about our soccer. Yeah. Do we care about soccer? Yeah, we, we care about, about our women. women. Yeah, we care that's about what it our is. women and our soccer. The opportunities they have. That's uh, what it is, huh? W- w- women's soccer uh, is really popular in the U.S. They, yeah. and a lot of middle class parents put their daughters in mm-hmm. soccer since like, yeah. they're young, and yeah. uh, that's why it's a, pr- it's a privilege thing, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. It costs yeah. a lot of money. It's the yeah. opposite of the U.S. than it is for the rest of the world. Exactly. So, but no. Canada, Canada, you would think Canada. Can, no, recently, the, Canada just cared about soccer recently, past mm. four years. I got you. They're like, you know what? We haven't done qual- qualify for the World Cup in thirty six years. Let's start developing our players. The one, <laughs> but I'm saying the women in there, they get the same. They're equal. Oh, the, I don't the know. Olympics. They had one good player. I forgot what her name was. Sinclair. Yeah, Christine yeah. Sinclair. Okay. She was like a star. She was, you know, whatever. But yeah, she she was really good. But I don't know if they're that good. I mean, I still think Sweden and Japan and yeah. like other teams are way but, better than yeah. Germany. Ultimately, the one Canadian women's team won the gold the gold at Olympics. They did. Yeah, really? I didn't know I think that. they did. I didn't know that either. Oh, I know the captain of Canada for that team is a Tottenham player. Oh, really? Yeah, she's uh, Shailene Z- Zdorsky or whatever. Zdorsky. She's pretty hot, dude. What else? <laughs> She a lesbian. Is that a girl from she actually girl? is a lesbian. Her girlfriend is a Moroccan. Of course, she's a Rose lesbian. Ayala or whatever. Rose, women soccer players. I think we talked about this before. This has been a topic we had in the past, but yeah. we can all admit that there's certain sports that women indulge in that they're just more prettier in that sport than they are in others. Yeah. yeah. Isn't your girl gonna watch this? No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, mind the last footage. <laughs> <laughs> just censor out that whole thing. Just be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we'll cup your man. I'm excited. Let's we'll see what happens. Bad, bad. Say less. Say less. Yeah. I don't know, man. All right. Excited. Then, what, what time are we on right now? We're about to go into an hour now with a little bit of, I don't know. Well, you can see it better than I can. Oh, yeah. What is it? An, an hour, hour yet? One, 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 one. Yeah, with like uh, two right. minutes or something. We still got time to kill with, with that. Uh, whatever. With that yeah. delay. So we keep talking. Um, so how about, oh yeah, we got WrestleMania. Bro. Yeah, we could talk about that. I, I didn't. I didn't watch it, but. Go ahead. I know you saw it. Um, I haven't been watching it every week past year and a half because mm-hmm. I'm tired of their bullshit. Damn. But uh, it was returning on Twitter and like all like the real fans that I follow. Yeah. They said it was good. 
So I was following it, and yeah, I guess WWE pulled off a really good WrestleMania Damn. this year, which is surprisingly because it's fucking the same thing over over fucking Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, like Brock, dude, Brock, Brock. Lesnar. Brock Lesnar got way better on the mic than what they I remember. Because because they because they paid him more and to to oh, for that him makes sense too. They paid him over him to do uh, promos. Uh, promos again yeah. and have his own character again. Yeah. Because he's like before yeah. he was like I'll show up just to wrestle and suplex do ten times and leave. Suplex. Yeah, and then Paul Bear was <laughs> yeah, Paul you Bear know, his. Talking for him, yeah. Mm-hmm. But Brock, yeah, because I remember growing up, Brock Lesnar was good on the mic, yeah. Um, and he would like he, he would like do more than just suplex dudes. But even like in UFC, <laughs> he, he the shooting star press, bro. UFC champion, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but oh, even the UFC, good. Brock was good on the mic. Yeah. Like when he came when DCB uh, Stipe and he came in the ring and said, I don't, know, I forgot what he said, but yeah. it was fire. Yeah. I was like, excited for it. He's <laughs> <laughs> like Steep as a piece of shit. Yeah. Is a piece of shit. He was like, I'm gonna go home and drink a uh, Bud Light, not a Bud Light. Not a Bud Light because they won't pay me nothing. Yeah. But a Bud Light or some shit like that. Yeah. I'm gonna get on top of my wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, Brock Lesnar. I was. pulled that shoehorn straight out of ass. <laughs> 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 That's what he yeah, said, Frank Miller. Yeah. That's what he said. <laughs> so Brock Lesnar was always good with the mic, but he just didn't want to like try. He's like, you guys ain't paying me enough. Yeah. But because of like how bad they were doing, they're like, fuck, we'll pay you more. And yeah, Brock Lesnar started doing more more traditional wrestling stuff, promos, <laughs> more than just Suplex City. Because Brock was telling him, Brock Lesnar used to do like flips off the off the ropes. <laughs> yeah. he no, he's super stuff. athletic. I believe yeah. it. But yeah, well, I mean, he landed on his neck. But. <laughs> 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 Still, <laughs> got up afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no. but yeah, uh, they pulled up for good WrestleMania. Uh, it was trending. Uh, Stone Cold came back for a match yeah. against Kevin Owens. Uh, oh, he fought. Like, yeah, I know he fought. Huh? He fought. Oh, yeah, like, Kevin Owens. I didn't he know he fought. I thought yeah. he just. Beat no, him. he, he did, came out with uh, when Pat McAfee was facing that dude. He did a match with Kevin Owens. I it was a short, obviously. Who was it? Was it like uh, whatever? It was probably for the show, right? Yeah, yeah. The Steve Austin one. Uh, yeah, obviously. Uh, and <laughs> then uh, Stone Cold, Kinnaman, obviously that was like the big thing, Stone Cold making a comeback. Um, <laughs> Vince McMahon just you know, messed up the, the stunner. <laughs> what kind uh, of beer did he drink? Botched it. His own beer. He has his own beer. Yeah. Don't, oh, buy oh, Don't buy it. The Broken no, Skull, I no. think. No, or is that his podcast or something? Show? No, no, no that's that's skull the Broken Skull was a show. show. Yeah. Yeah, IPAs are disgusting. His, his reality show. I told you people drink IPAs out there. You guys have weird taste buds. Don't you get drink IPAs? I'm not really. No. no I'll tell you the... Anyways, yeah, uh, Tom Cole came back, legend, obviously. Uh, another big thing, why, why it was such a huge weekend, The Undertaker got inducted into the Hall of Fame. Fire. <gasps> yeah. He did? Yeah. Well, everybody, knew, everybody saw that coming, though. Yeah, and uh, it was very emotional. Um, you know, uh, he had his own, like, uh, inductee ceremony just for him, obviously, because he's so, so iconic. Oh, for sure. Uh, and you, could, you could argue he's the GOAT. You can, yeah, yeah. You can argue it, yeah. yeah, because he went so far with his gimmick. Yeah, he his gimmick transcends time. Yeah, like you know, like He's like yeah, literally he, an he, Undertaker. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so that was big. Uh, Triple H officially announced his ring his ring retirement. Okay, like Which, a, but he hasn't wrestled. Thought, oh, so it's just official, I guess, right? Because yeah. he said it before, though. Right? Yeah, he officially announced. Yeah, he went in. He uh, he left his boots in the in the ring, walked out. Mm. Triple H. That's a that's a wrestling thing, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah like when you're done yeah, wrestling, yeah. like you're saying, uh, yeah. So he's still gonna be involved in the business, but he's just done wrestling. Yeah, yeah. Triple H legend. I mean, legend, his theme song, his move. You know, Triple H is legend too. Yeah, all uh, for sure. Uh, but he kind of, I didn't say he ruined his legacy, but like him becoming like the like the, the corporate like, guy. the corporate guy. Kind of like his, his image changed for sure. Um, no. Um, um yeah. No, because yes. Um, uh, you stop watching it. So here's the thing: when, when <laughs> a lot of wrestlers left WWE because they were tired of dealing with Vince McMahon, right? Like Vince McMahon's old and stubborn. Yeah, yeah. Um, Triple H had some power. He convinced a lot of the wrestlers to come. AJ yeah, Styles, yeah. Samoa Joe. Like, I, he, I didn't say he's a beast, but I'm saying all I said is change his image a little bit. Oh, like physically? No, like because he did cut his. He's hair. not that. He, like his character. Yeah, his character. Well, yeah, because his, his character. This is corporate saying. Triple H, and you're talking about Triple H the game. That's what I'm saying. Like, so it did change like his image. Yeah. I didn't say it ruined his legacy. I didn't say oh, that. Okay. I'm not saying that, bro. I'm just saying no. it changed his image a bit. No, he, because of Triple H, lot of, the WWE was able to hire a lot of uh, wrestlers out in the yeah. industry, and because they work with Triple H. Part of the biggest nose in the industry as well, huh? The nose. Nose is huge. Yeah. Mm. He has a sniffer on him. He does, but I'm trying to see like, the thing with the bigger nose. Santino Morella. 
<laughs> Didn't he have like a plastic thing at one point? Did he? Like it was whatever. It was um, probably like a gimmick one match or something. But yeah, um, on. this is the first time I've uh, followed WWE again. Dude, I'm really I was pro- watching. I was watching the uh, Johnny Knoxville match. That one was pretty fun. Oh yeah, there was oh, a yeah. lot of matching. Is it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> against Sammy. What's he doing in there? Uh, Logan Paul had a match against Rey Mysterio. Oh yeah, he did too. Oh, he lost. Rey Mysterio and Dominic. It was a tag team. No, they are. Logan Paul lost. Yeah. Who did he wrestle with? I just told you. Dominic Ray and Ray Mysterio. Mysterio. Dominic and Ray. Ray Mysterio and his son. Okay, who did he wrestle against? Logan with, Paul. With. Oh, Ray. he wrestled with them? Or who he wrestled no, against? No, no. Okay, yeah. okay, so it was Dominic so and... I don't know who he wrestled with. Because it was a tag team, I'm assuming, it right? Was, it was a tag was it team. was a triple threat? No, it was... Uh, it was wasn't the triple threat one. That was different. That was no. the arcade bros. Who was on like, Logan Paul's corner is what I'm saying? Okay, let's look. Oh, you don't know? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Uh, I just... Ooh, I seen was? him, but I didn't know. Bro, Actually, let's go back to that conversation of women in sports who are the good, best looking wrestlers. Rad, the divas. Yeah. Who who was the, the best looking me, one? Like, was it Rook, with our friend Rookie? He was like, I don't understand how you can be that good looking and want to do this as a career choice. Me too. I don't understand either. <laughs> like, um, they, they this, love is only, this is only yeah. night two. I don't got night one, so it was it's, probably the first thing. It's whatever. Through. It's probably some scrub. But yeah, like uh, this is all the yeah the divas like they're. Well, all of them are mostly good looking. Yeah, yeah. And they're and the, now the new gen, they're all good wrestlers too. Sasha Banks. <laughs> I don't think she's that attractive. I'd she's she is attractive, but I don't think like compared to some other ones that they yeah. have. Mandy I, I, Mandy Rose. Yeah. So yeah, wrestling. I like. I'm. I was like a love. To me, I have a love hate with wrestling. Um, I actually been watching Mexican wrestling. Yeah, Luchador. is it on Twitch or something, or what is it on? Is it? You get it like a month late, but who oh, cares? Oh, oh. <laughs> we can't watch it on TV. Uh, I don't have those. Ch- no, I don't, I don't have those channels. Um, you don't have? Do you have cable? Mm. I don't either. Yeah, but uh, I've been watching uh, Mexican wrestling actually the past year probably. Yeah. Um, I tune I tune into like wrestling every now and then, but. Yeah, yeah. I watched some old matches. You know yeah. that boy, Super Porky, <laughs> that dude. I think know. the last time I saw WrestleMania was uh, when Undertaker. The last time Undertaker was in it, and it was just pathetic watching him wrestle. Was that when he lost? He's been in like almost every single one. That had like, to be when he faced Bray, or Bray Wyatt. I don't know, but it was bad. Like he could barely get up. That was Bray Wyatt. It was sad. <laughs> yeah, and uh, but that was because he was in denial. Yeah, I told him he should. What was his record in the WrestleMania in the end? He, he lost th- twice, I think. That was bullshit. Roman and Brock Lesnar. Roman? Yeah. Bro, they're trying to push Roman they, up yeah. everyone's ass, bro. He's Why best Roman? wrestler. What do you mean? It should have been somebody iconic. He just unified the championship. That's his reign. He's greatest of all time. Why are they pushing? They've been trying to push this man for like a decade now. Yeah, and look at where he's Because they have no one else. Oh, look at that. Do you see him? Thing. Two belts. Here's, he's got two here's belts. Here's the thing that we really messed up on. <laughs> he unified it. They yeah. let John, he had cancer. They let John Cena go without having a replacement. Uh, and I don't think it should be Roman. I think it should be Seth. Cause Seth's good on the mic, and Seth and Seth is well rounded. But can, that's the Rock's bro- cousin. He's a family. It's that's a, why it's a family thing. He's part of the Ioya family, which is a wrestling legacy family. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I don't know how to pronounce that right. Sorry. Oh, so is the other diva? Was that diva? Oh, uh, Tamina. No, I yeah. think is it? Oh, the big girl. Yeah. Uh, she got released. Uh, Damn, she, uh, I forgot her name. Good. But, uh, <laughs> nepotism isn't true. I don't know her name. I forgot her name. It was like big she used lady. to be Alexa Bliss's partner, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. think it was like Big Mom or something. Like that. <laughs> no, no, but, um, wasn't. wasn't it like Medea or something? No. The Big Kahuna. <laughs> <laughs> Naya, 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 Naya Jax. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty close. <laughs> the Big Kahuna. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what are we talking? Oh yeah, so. They didn't really let Roman go without having a replacement for John Cena. Yeah, I mean, the, John the Cena's way around, yeah. Yeah, yeah the other way around. Um, and John Cena's doing good, man. I, I, his acting's getting better and better throughout the years. I know he's, yeah, he's got his own show now. Yeah, like, Peacemaker. Peacemaker's like the role he needed. Is it a show show? Yeah, yeah, he got his own show. Oh. Peacemaker was like the, the the role he needed for him to involve his acting. I haven't yeah. seen it. So like, like I said, everybody sees him as a big dude, and then Peacemaker, uh-huh. he's a goofy guy, you know, and he yeah. acts in it too serious sometimes. Yeah. So then you get to actually see the full range of him, which is crazy. There's yeah. a movie he was in with Amy Schumer. Yeah, oh. he was a drug dealer. Oh, and yeah. he was funny. Yeah. yeah, and he was funny in it. I was like, oh. Oh, no, he was a boyfriend, right? He was I, song, I think he was like a boyfriend. Or something. One, he was I a didn't drug watch dealer. it, but it was he was funny in that movie. He was actually real goofy in it. I don't think he was a drug dealer. I think he was like just like See, that's, that's why when you guys said like action stars, I don't consider him an action star. He's he's a comedy star. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's yeah. also was the voice for Ferdinand the Bull, a Pixar movie. Really? Yeah. Never I don't seen know it. which one. Yeah, I don't it's, watch kid movies. Kind of sad. 
I'm sure it is, bro. Dreamworks. Pixar hits you right here, bro. Yeah. No, DreamWorks, though. Right is it Dream? No, I guess on Disney Plus, so it has to be mm-hmm. Pixar. Oh, no. But yeah, know. he was the voice of Fernand, too. So my man does voice over, bro. John Cena is He's talented. He ain't the rock, but he's and talented. He's a, and he apologizes to the Chinese. Yeah, that's true. That, that takes a big man. Yeah. You know, yeah. it takes no back spine. He, also know, he knows Chinese. But yeah, so WWE doesn't have a person to replace. Like That's not a language, sir, but yeah. <laughs> So like you he know, back in the day, it was uh, the <laughs> the Rock, then John Cena, mm-hmm. and nobody right now. Yeah, no, like they obviously they keep pushing Roman, but uh, Roman's a good wrestler, but his mic skills suck. In wrestling, you have to be good on the mic to be full legend or full transcend, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know, WWE. I don't know they 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 had a good WrestleMania, surprising to a lot of you know fans because they've been doing bad the past year, two years. Um, hopefully they can do something with this with this uh, uh, how do you say this momentum they yeah, got right now. Hopefully, but I got it. Uh, but awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I think that should be a wrap for the show. Yeah. We're on like a minute and fifteen. Yeah. We're past that. An hour and fifteen. Yeah, past that, yeah. Plus the little technical issues. Uh, so we should be good. We, we should, should be there an hour. Yeah, we should be good. Yeah. So um, thank you for tuning in to the Ski Mass Podcast. What episode was it? I don't know, but we forgot to talk about uh, Ski Guy, too. But oh, yeah. Oh, yeah Ski yeah, will yeah, be yeah. back. I don't know what's up with him. <laughs> yeah. uh, he he my, got in a car crash. My man's on a honeymoon. honeymoon. He's on a honeymoon. Oh, yeah. He's in the honeymoon he's phase. He's so engaged. Yeah. 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 He'll be back. Eloped. Yeah, he's eloped right now. I'll man. be feeling right now. He's in Vegas. Yeah. Just getting married. Yeah. Yep. He's actually, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's it. We'll end it there. Peace. <laughs>